Well, we are tracking a good chance that we will see some flooding conditions tomorrow, along with the potential for wind and hail, as even stronger storms are expected tomorrow than we had out there today. So we'll take you right into your skycast, beginning you off at 10 o'clock tonight. We'll still be tracking a few lingering storms here for the next couple of hours. Nothing really overly impressive expected through the rest of tonight and into tomorrow morning. We will, however, keep the clouds around and can completely rule out a few areas of light rain and even some drizzle tomorrow morning. So it is going to be a bit of a gray and gloomy start to your Tuesday, and we're going to keep the clouds around through much of the day. The storms tomorrow, they're going to fire up a bit earlier. We should start to see some heavier rain along the I-25 corridor and west across the high country and even out across the I-70 corridor beginning at lunchtime. So lunchtime is when things are going to start to get interesting tomorrow afternoon. We'll start to see the storms across the mountains beginning to shift off toward the east along the eastern portions of both El Paso and Pueblo County. Should start to see some heavier rain right around 3 o'clock. We'll start to track some heavy rain around Denver also. Watch what happens though as we take you into the evening. Right around 7 o'clock, Skycast shows a relatively strong storm popping up along the Palmer Divide. It then drops that across eastern El Paso County. The storms that we see tomorrow, again, will be capable of producing some very heavy rain. Flooding will be a concern, and not just for area burn scars. We could see heavy enough rain to cause some urban flooding, some street flooding. Pretty much anywhere we get some of those strong storms, so that will be something we'll be keeping an eye on. Could also see some large hail and gusty winds. So stick with us through the day tomorrow. Check in with Abby. She'll have an updated forecast for you on Good Morning Colorado tomorrow morning. Temperatures are going to stay cooler as a result of the clouds and, of course, the storms. We'll only get into the upper 70s for Colorado Springs, 84 in Pueblo, with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s for the lower Arkansas River. Tomorrow is really going to be the most active day of the entire work week. We'll start to quiet things down on Wednesday with just a 20% chance for storms and then we'll take storms out of the forecast Thursday Friday will warm the temperatures up this weekend just a 10 to 20 percent chance for a few scattered to isolated storms both Saturday and Sunday afternoon temperatures will also fall into the low 80s by this weekend but all in all as soon as we get past tomorrow it doesn't look like too bad of an end to the weekend the weekend doesn't look too shabby either in Pueblo 84 degrees tomorrow we'll hit 89 on Wednesday we'll warm it back into the 90s Thursday Friday and again on Saturday next chance for storms arrives on Sunday. In Canyon City, tomorrow it is going to be a bit of a soggy afternoon. 82 degrees will be your high temperature. We'll hit 88 on Wednesday with temperatures getting to 90 degrees on Thursday. We'll cool it down slightly Friday into Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, bringing the next chance for storms. Both afternoons will have a 10% chance of getting a bit more rain. Teller County, a 60% chance that we're going to get a bit wet tomorrow afternoon. 68 degrees will be your high temperature. We'll hit 73 on Wednesday with temperatures staying in the 70s through Thursday and Friday, but Thursday, Friday, bringing a break from the rain before it returns this weekend. As far as the weekend is concerned, Saturday looking to be the drier and quieter of the two weekend days. Sunday looks to be a bit more active, but tomorrow is really our main focus right now. So be sure again to keep your eyes to the sky. Could be a bit of a severe weather day across southern. Okay. Colorado. All right. We've been, been warned. warned. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks.